60 years do, do you, in one organization, do you know what your what life is going to be like with no baseball in your life next year? I have no idea. I don't know what summer lo- uh, nights are like. What do people do uh, <laughs> when it's still light out at 9 o'clock? But I- I'm looking forward to it. I've, you know, it's been 60 years, wonderful years. I've So many memories and so many things that I dreamed about that came to pass, which is so rare. Everybody has dreams, but uh, I had a chance to live them. And uh, just, you know, being a big league ball player, a World Series, an all-star game, playing with Hall of Famers. So, um, so many, so many great things to look back on. And so it, it, it's going to be good. I had a chance to catch up with my life a little mm-hmm. bit. I've been going at warp speed. <laughs> As my son says, you're on weld. <laughs> so uh, it's going to be all right. It, it's time. You know, when it's time, you, ha- you really know it's time. It wasn't time until this year. But I announced it early so I would have uh, the whole season to thank a lot of people because everybody's been quite wonderful uh, during the playing days, the broadcasting days, and now people are coming around and saying, have a, have a good retirement. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to spend the rest of my days trying to pay back uh, the people in Western Pennsylvania and the Pirate Organization for what they've given me. And I, I don't know if I'll ever catch up, but I'm going to keep on trying. In this summer-long celebration, you're, a lot of memories are going to come back. Is there one that, like... You're, you, you seem to be coming around a lot, or people are talking to you about as you know your, your career winds down. Well, people constantly come up and say, "Oh, I remember that World Series in 1971." Of course, that's my favorite baseball memory, of course. And uh, they asked me about, it and I said, "Well, let me just put it this way." I said, "We sit down every night before dinner, we watch the highlight film of the '71 World Series, and then we have dinner, and then we watch it again after <laughs> after dinner." But the, the memories come flashing back with that. But there's so many other ones too. You know, first major league start, you know, going to an all-star game, playing with Clemente, playing with Stargell, playing with Mazeroski, and just going through that whole year of the championship year. And now I get a chance to sit up there and watch young men come up through the system, Altoona included, and watch how they develop and, and how they exist and, and how, uh, how they handle themselves, not just on the baseball field, but uh, in all the circumstances of life. So. Uh, it's it's going to be fun for me to sit back. I'm going to go to ball games too. I'm I'm, I'm a big fan, and uh, take my grandkids and uh, have a dog and a beer. So um, it it feels like the right time to do it. And uh, I've got all those memories in the memory bank, and I've got this thing that reminds me every once in a while of uh, what we all went through. So it's it's going to be great. Um, you you mentioned him, uh, Clemente, um, gone too soon. He, one of the greatest to ever play. Describe what it was like playing with a guy who just played the game the right way, nice as can be, and was a pretty good ball player as well. Well, I had uh, the honor of being a teammate for 10 years, and uh, it's ju- it was just incredible. He had the gift of turning a 10-year Major League veteran into a 10-year-old kid. You didn't want to take your eyes off him, anything he did. Uh, he was magic on the field in, in his presence. Uh, you know, uh, every Major League ball player is, is very good, but then there's different levels of Major League uh, existence. And his presence, it was like he was, he was uh, above the fray a little bit. He carried himself in such a, such a unique way. And uh, I learned so much from him. And just to be on a team with him. Uh, and, you know, uh, consider this, if we can fantasize for a minute. You know, you go out uh, for batting practice and just play a little catch until batting practice starts. Well, every once in a while, I would have a catch with Roberto Clemente. How good is that? If you think about it. Hey, yeah, I used to play catch with Roberto Clemente every <laughs> once in a while. But uh, it was just, uh, it, was an, it was an honor to be around him. And I think had he lived, he would have become the governor of Puerto Rico because he was such a bright man. And he had the, uh, the presence and the way he carried himself and how he was uh, revered in Puerto Rico. Uh, I miss him every day. Uh, minor league baseball has changed a lot since uh, you, you were playing baseball. Are, how amazed are you to see the, not only the talent, but also just the facilities, the conditions that these guys get you know every opportunity to you know live out their lifelong dreams it's uh, unbelievable I, I'm, I'm so happy uh, when i get a chance to go now because uh, the, the minor league stadiums and and the atmosphere and the organizations that exist like the one here in altoona uh they're they're first rate first class and uh, you still want to get to the big leagues and, and get to the top rung but to to make stops like they do in these kind of facilities and the organizational care that comes down from the major league organization uh, that that embraces them and is so much more involved than when I was around. Uh, uh, we hardly knew anybody in Pittsburgh when I was playing in the minor leagues. And it was okay, but these guys are so fortunate to have that, that whole influence come down there day after day and help them not only be ball players, 
but know there's a world around them, life lessons, uh, uh, their, their guidance and, and the uh, concern and, and the support is, is phenomenal. And the facilities. I wish I'd played in some of these ballparks. <laughs> I can tell you about Batavia and D Dubuque and, and uh, Keokuk, Iowa and all that stuff. And it was okay because we were living the dream. Yeah, that, that makes everything all right. But to have played in, in places like this, uh, it, it, uh, it would have been outstanding. Yeah. Um, last one, you know, you, with the organization for 60 years, you've been through the Pirates at their highest, World Series champions. They had some down years. Uh, now they're coming back up. How do you stay with an organization for 60 years? Why do you come back to the ballpark every day? Because when I was 18 years old, the Pittsburgh Pirates gave me a chance to live my dream. I, I, uh, my lo loyalty will never waver. Uh, dreams are wonderful, and, and you look back, you know, my buddies say, well, it could have been the Tigers, could have been the Mets, could have been the Yankees. It was the Pittsburgh Pirates. They gave me that chance. I'll never quit on them. It's, it's not even negotiable. So that's why I come to the ballpark. I continue to live, leave that, live, live that dream, excuse me, and I will never forget who gave it to me. Thank you so much. Congratulations.